Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I've been catching up on the comments and I know it's been a while since I posted an Odyssey video because of the Horizon Zero Dawn and the Origins double features but I did get the message that somebody said that there's a really cool figurehead out in the East Sea, e east of Kefalonia. Um, I did discover one figurehead out here, but I think I did anyway, but there's this one here, maybe. This might be a figurehead. It probably is. It's under the water, most likely. Um, ooh, what's this one? Aww, puppy! That's cute. Oh, that is cute. It gets a like. Okay, so... I should have been thinking what we were going to do today. Oh, yeah, we have to go to Pericles Symposium. That's right. We've been finally given access to Pericles Fabled Symposium. Okay. We do have... Where, where are we? We're in... Over here? Really? We're not have, like... Like, why isn't that area filled in? I've, like, been there. It's odd. Maybe I have to get, like, all of the fast travel points? I don't know. A what? A home-cooked Theban dinner one more time. He claimed the so-called delicacies found elsewhere had no place in his stomach. Okay. Weird take, but alright. Oh, shoot, there's like uh, one of these people right out here. Oh, I could do that. Oh, yeah! That guy who we actually saw in the cult itself. All right, well, let's go. We'll put him out of his misery. Those rich boys, rich pretty boys who are easily manipulated and then end up profiting off the suffering of others. Yeah, I don't feel bad killing him. <laughs> oh yeah, and somebody also told me uh, that you don't take fall damage in this game. Unlike every single Assassin's Creed game ever. I mean, well, you don't, you don't die from fall damage in this game. So that's why when I jumped really, really high off the Athena statue and I landed, I didn't die. Which has, I think they mentioned, is a is a trait of her, you know, having fallen off a large cliff as a child and not died, or it's like, it's like, it explains that plot right there. So, like, she just never dies <laughs> from falling. We'll be watching you, okay. <laughs> Fine. Pericles welcomes you to his symposium. We'll be watching you. But yeah, so, I don't know if it's because of the spear that we don't take. I think it's probably because of the spear we don't take. We don't, we don't die from fall damage. Oh my gosh! Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! What?! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said, stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even yeah. get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe? I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. She's from Athens, okay. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. Well, who's Aspasia? How is it you're working for Aspasia? 
Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in yeah, there. Yeah, I do. Well... <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. I'm unique! But don't worry. I have just the outfit for you. They give you... They give you... Outfits? Like, they just give them to you? Okay, we're not here to cause trouble. I, I like that they give you a choice, but we're not here to cause trouble. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. Okay! If I lose my awesome weapons or my armor, I'll be very upset. I feel... Oh, it looks so pretty! Now you look like everyone else. Boring. You say that like it's a good yeah. thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust okay. me. Okay. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things Public than Public speaking is terrifying. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. We look really pretty. Mm. I like it. And maybe this is, like, uh, uh, hopefully they will take me seriously when I'm dressed like them. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Herodes, how's it going? Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust Okay, you. I'm, I'm wearing the clothes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wisely dress for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important okay, part of being okay, trusted, okay. after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the opinionated tongue. Mm -hmm. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Oh, boy. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies! Every this guy's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Nah. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Uh, <laughs> Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasinus. <laughs> if you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same thing. Oh my gosh. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. I like the Where giant wine oh, cup. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. 
Are you going to Fire leave? Oh Socrates my gosh. Always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for Oh love. my gosh! What a pretty boy. <laughs> Why not? The other naked people, all the naked people. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. <laughs> so, I'm gonna drink so much. Tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? Uh, yeah. This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own, you know. <laughs> vomiting up blood. And just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Don't leave me alone! I uh, think, yeah, I'm gonna say. You're leaving me alone with these people? <laughs> You'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother. I don't want to talk to all these Greek names I have, remember. Hmm. Multiple quests accepted, okay. I'm blending in. I'm blending in. I'm blending in. Look at me blending in. <laughs> oh wait, who's talking? Talk to you guys. Of course, I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Oh. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. Uh... I don't know if I like, I don't know if I can like lie or if like people will remember me saying, you know, oh yeah, people are great. Let's see if we can be blunt, I guess. I'll change the subject again. I'm looking for someone, a Spartan woman. Spartan? Hopefully <laughs> she's dead in the gutters. It's better than those mongrels deserve. I wonder if you found the woman. Oh my gosh. Even if you saw her with your own eyes. Would you believe her existence to be true? Uh, this is getting nowhere. Forget it. If you don't want to discuss that, then what? If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she ah! to observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here? <laughs> in my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. I don't even know who Aspasia is. This has been useless. Here. I don't know who Aspasia is. Oh, hey, I know where Pericles is, though. Because of the uh, leader thing. Okay. Uh, what up? Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air blocker. I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point of view. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No. Have you been listening to nothing I say? <laughs> okay, apparently I can't talk to them. Inventory. Oh, is it like a new outfit? Nice. Nice, I get to keep it. Nice. Um, 
Drink up. It was time to get Euripides drunk. In the safety of Paracusa Foe, people could indulge their more fanciful whims. What? No, I don't want to get it. No, please, no. They're going to make. I don't want to talk to that guy. Oh. I don't want to talk to pretty boy. <laughs> Is this where I get alcohol? Oh, wait. Did I talk to you? A new face in Pericles' abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen this guy rolled his eyes. Leon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? What? Uh I am called many things. It isn't one it's of one them. It's one of those. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. <laughs> I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. <laughs> for a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes Evripides. to say. Don't you, Evripides? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden ball. <laughs> the man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> uh, who are you? What is this? Oh. Olive oil? Oh, God. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. The guy who doesn't talk? I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice something <laughs> other than myself, you expect too oh, much. So much for being a you wise man. To every pedis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Oh my Morosov. gosh. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Because you made those words up! You want to get every Pedis drunk. Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! Nah. We both know that's <laughs> not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. Yeah, it's my brain. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. What? Why are you going to slip away? You're hiding in the kitchen. Everybody knows you're hiding in the kitchen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? <laughs> I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor <laughs> you hiding in this kitchen. <laughs> It's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. Yeah, well, Ericlipides or whatever, he was like, he's like taking off. But he's the ward of Pericles, the pretty boy. He's the ward of Pericles. And apparently the lover of Socrates, but maybe not. Because he, he was like, no, I can't. I can't right now. I can't deal with that. <laughs> you're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess. Every Pedis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never no, know. Wait, no, you're lover of... Okay, wait, did I get the names mixed up? Lover of who? Dang it. Not the pretty boy? Uh, or is the pretty boy... Uh, I don't remember the pretty boy's name. <laughs> they all have A names. <laughs> and they end in Les. <laughs> I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now... If you want some friendly advice, 
Aristophanes <gasps> oh, okay. can stand, sweet one. Aristophanes. I've seen what it can do to Is him. it the one with your Absolutely <laughs> horrifyingly delightful. <gasps> Look at him. It Look at his hands. party without someone losing their stomach. Yeah. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Okay, so right now, okay, so he's the lover. Socrates is a lover of the pretty boy, but Euripides is 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 slumming it with that other guy whose name starts with an A and ends in an ES. <laughs> um, Hi, can I have some wine? Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Right, that's what he said? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. All right, that was what I was supposed to get, right? I was distracted trying to remember who was whose lover. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. Mm. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet, it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Okay! I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine <laughs> I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my <gasps> word. And I, I wasn't questioning, I perhaps one drink. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar <laughs> Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Oh, you're bad influence. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his own. Oh, outburst. Euripides is nice. Let's conjure Dionysus, shall we? Dionysus. This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for me? <laughs> yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. Oh my. You ready for another? Oh boy, this guy's gonna puke, and if I have to see it in high definition, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hurl. Stop drinking if you don't like it! Oh god. This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? Me? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, right or into a plane. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. What? I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. Hippocrates? He's a physician, best of the, the Hippocratic best. Oath. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I Why? I'm getting drunk and singing. Come back Hi. if you want to sing with me. Hi! Think about it. I love getting drunk and singing! What is in Argos? Here I come. Okay, good. I don't have to talk to the guy. I don't want to, because I didn't want to talk to that guy. Can I talk to you yet? Ah, the mystios from the ostracism. Let's talk later. Return to Sophocles. Now I don't have to talk to awkward pretty boy. How's every Drunk, I hope. Yeah. 
You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. <laughs> he won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. <laughs> okay. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Oh, okay. Socrates, not Sophocles. Haha. <laughs> Now I go, yes? Now I can go? I don't have to talk to pretty boy, right? Please? Um, no! Why? Wait, no! No, I'm not trying to go to the world map. I want to go to my... Oh, okay. No! I still have to go, but I got information already! No! Why? No! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, this, so this symposium is taking forever! Oh my gosh. This boy was too pretty. I don't he, I don't trust pr boys that are too pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, I just like punched you, it's fine. Hey, I can go up here and talk to Pericles, maybe. I think Pericles is up here. Oh, he's up there. I'm gonna run around. Please don't make me talk to pretty boy. This is a nice residence. Man, to live in a place that's like always got such nice weather would be so cool. <gasps> Somebody broke a priceless vase. Although it probably isn't priceless, maybe, you know, right now. Oh, this is Pericles' bedroom. I thought that was a knife. It's just a light ray. Pericles! Can I, like... I can't walk on! I can't walk climb in a dress. This is sexist. You know. <laughs> I'll bet you, uh, Alexios couldn't walk climb either. <laughs> but still, I mean, it would be kind of interesting to see the animation for the dress going wah all over the place if I tried to walk climb in a dress. Not impossible, but difficult. <laughs> oh, I don't want. I, I like scenes that fade to black. I don't want to see naked people. <gasps> A goat? I just, oh my gosh, I just heard a goat. Someone's being hurt. No! Open this door or I'll kick it in! No, oh, oh, please, no. Oh, 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 no, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Look at you. I don't want to, no, don't touch me. Such oh my gosh. Such I don't appreciate this! I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard uh -huh. to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. Oh my gosh! I only came yeah, to the you, you to don't, find no. Sounds like we can help each other, no. then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil. I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're here. Maybe they're here. She's not in no. there. I think I'll check all Oh my gosh, that was a scary wink. Here you go. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> she, her We're face. Saved. Today, these women grieved for their sons. And these men work the wall. But tonight. Is there anything going that. on? Let's have some fun! What do you she say? She looks at her face! Care to. <laughs> join her us? face is like. <laughs> no! Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like You that. like everything! Focus. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. Yeah, we do. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. <gasps> she'd... Uh, Aspasia? Aspasia? The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. 
Uh, Aspasia, is she my, if she's my mother, I'm gonna have a cow. I don't think she is though. It, I don't know what these words mean, but I feel like it's not good. Vietera. I've heard they play some sort like a of prostitute? role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh no, these women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones Courtesan. there with any smarts. Courtesan. Ali, come back inside. Oh, the celebration uh, continues. Fuck yes. <laughs> when you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. It was a noble attempt at a wink, but... Anfusa in Corinth. It's not much. But it's a start. I guess I got two places to look. Maybe three. Do I have can I talk to you now? Is that what we're doing? Ah, here comes the one who claims to value Drachmi over the noble path that leads to knowledge. Like I told you, knowledge can't feed me. But the mind must be fed as well. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? Uh... You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? <laughs> you have my attention. <laughs> We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! Okay. Uh... I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war... Art of war! Doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades? When a swift retreat would save all their Only lives. temporarily. You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say Oh anything. my gosh. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. Uh. You're wasting your time, Aspasia. <gasps> Aspasia, is it my mother? I don't think so. I think she's younger than my mother would be. Is she like Pericles' uh, like mistress or something? I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Whoa! I, did she send me a note or something? I have vague recollections of something, maybe. I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. 
Yes. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. <laughs> you never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. Um, we'll be somewhat uh, less, we'll be not super specific. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he My did! My dear friend, Medusa, <laughs> is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate. Hey, man, it is what it is. That's all I have. Stop, my dog is going There crazy. is another option. Oh. In a former Shh. life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. Admiral? What's his name? Her name is Xenia. Yes! When we last spoke, she was in chaos. Chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find... I don't you. know who Aspasia is. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here. Somebody remind me who she is, because I don't know who she is, and I don't want to look things up, because I'm afraid uh, that I'll get spoilers. But I'm afraid I'll have to leave it here. My dog is going crazy, and I... It's a good time to do it. To end it. But dang, this party's taking forever, and like... I don't have any, like, uh, like there's no like index of people or something that I can look at to be like, oh yeah, this is who she is, you know? Uh, Cause I have no idea. I actually have no idea who she is. And I feel like I'm missing something really important, <laughs> but it hasn't been that long since I played. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying our little interlude into the high society of Athenian, politics where everyone gets drunk and says the same things over and over again as philosophers will do. <laughs> so thank you guys again. I hope you're enjoying and I hope to see you in the next one.